Hello and welcome to the video. Today we'll be doing a review of the Ross Turn and Tilt TV wall mount. In my previous video, I actually did a quick review about the 7 inch LCD monitor that I plan to use for FPV and the problem that I had was mounting it on the tripod the base that came with it uh, definitely wouldn't allow me to use it as is for the configuration that I needed for it so let's dive down and go ahead and unbox the Ross TV wall mount Alright, so the Ross TV wall mount was actually designed for 13 to 23 inch uh, monitors. But when I saw it uh, at the local DIY shop, uh, I got it for 295 pesos only. Um, I think it would do the job. So let me just open this up. I'll be posting the details or the pictures uh, of the box after uh, the video. And here we go. So this is the cardboard manual. Alright. Inside you would find some uh, screws and the lock. Now let me just open that. this out and the wall mount all right so as you can see the back plate is probably the right size as the base plate of the monitor it has a screw that goes through the center it's actually uh the Walmart actually pivots on it, so you can tilt it up and down. But for our purpose, I think we would be using this in another way. Let me just screw the cap here. Well, I think it should have a lock nut at the bottom. Uh, I didn't see any lock nuts here, uh, probably because when you tighten this down, the threads the threads are actually at the bottom, and this is probably just a pass through hole. Um, yep, that's probably what it is, because you can tighten it down, and you have some friction already. There you go. All right, so how I actually plan on using this? Uh, is by positioning the monitor like this and if we're lucky it's probably gonna line up okay this is supposed to be the top of the mount but I think we'll be using it inverted and if you can see these two holes line up I could use some small screws and tighten that down probably use the foam or I'll probably make some double sided tape uh, so it doesn't uh, move around or vibrates uh, and becomes annoying later on when I keep moving it uh, in the space here and this would probably be tie strapped to the pole of the tripod so I'll get back to you and let me just screw this down and see if it works. So this is what I came up with. Um, we have the monitor. We have the Ross mount. We have one pair of nuts and bolts and their washers. And two tie straps. Some 3M double sided tape. These are the thin ones actually. Your small adjustable wrench. The big one will do a pair of scissors and your screwdriver 
So luckily I had these in stock. Let me just set that aside. And they won't go through the holes. Uh, they're actually the right fit. So if I just screw this down, uh, you see the threads go catch a, a lock on the, the mount. Here, let me do this properly. Let me just take this out. I don't want to damage the monitor in the process. All right. So I'd screw that down. It's got a good grip on it. Okay. Do the same on the other side. That's pretty tight. There you go. And then So I have the adjustment knob at the bottom and I'll just push that through and that's how it would fit right but before that what we will be doing is we are going to clean the surfaces using alcohol because we will be sticking some double sided tape. Just those surfaces where, where I plan to put the double sided tape. Of course, we have to dry that. So we use uh, another cotton to dry it out to wipe off the excess uh, alcohol. pencil which I don't think I have right now I hope I do there you go so I'd be marking this make sure everything's lined up I think that's pretty straight But when we lock it down we also want to free these two holes at the bottom because you see as you can see they don't line up to the rest of the mount all right then i'll take this off and now we have an idea how big and where the double sided tape needs to be doesn't need to be perfect just within the the line so it doesn't stick out when we are done tying down the the mount there oops it's a little bit too long and I 
think that will do. So we'll peel this off. That didn't work. That didn't work. There you go. So, adjustment screw at the bottom. Just insert that there. I want to make sure that I'm pulling this down as well and pushing the monitor mount up. That will free up the two holes on the side press it down insert the washer well that's the right side up and I'll attach the lock do the other one of course we'll be using the wrench later on to tighten that up and this I think would do well if we insert that there and the other one here. Have to push that through. Make sure we do we do that pretty tight. That's the reason why I use the head of the tie strap on the other side. So it actually won't go through. Even if I tighten that down. That's pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Alright, so you could use your scissors to cut the ends of the tie strap, but in this case I think I'll be using some uh, wire cutters. I think it's just easier to do that. There you go. So oh, that's on pretty tight. That's on pretty good. And believe me, when I when I chose the mount, I didn't know that I would be doing it this way. So I'll be using the adjustable adjustable wrench, locking that down here, and the screwdriver to tighten down the screw. If you want to be sure about this configuration or if you don't want to worry about this going on uh, or getting loose in the field, probably you could put some uh, thread lock on the screws. And finally, the monitor goes this way. All right. So I would be the tripod would actually be positioned like this. You'll be attaching the mount on the side 
with tie straps as well I probably have a good uh, quarter of an inch left with the tubing that I need on the tripod so there you go